everybody, on Aldo Hoffman here with my DMX Tutorials. Today I want to talk to you about the Auto, LTP, and HTP switches. Now we're going to be here on the live page. This is where we can select our different shows. And you'll see here, I mean, the faders are there, but you really can't move them. But underneath, we have this Auto button. Now when you click it, you have LTP and HTP. So what do these do? Well, Auto basically means, hey, the show is automatically going to be set based on what you've done on editor. Pretty obvious. But let's say I want to go ahead and select my dimmers and control them live. If I want to be able to dim my lights live and such. I so select them on LTP. Now LTP means latest takes priority. And that just basically means that the latest movement that I did or the latest position, it's going to stay there. So I can have my faders or my dimmers to whatever level I want. And I always like my dimmers to be on LTP because that way I can just really have much better control of my show. But you can also do the same thing with Gobo. So for example, over here in this uh, moving head, right, I'm going to go, this is for my InnoSpot Pro. I'm going to select it on LTP and I can select the Gobo live. I can also select it for color and I can change the color live. And of course I can do that for all of them. Now if I want to do all of them at the same time, I would use Easy Remote to make a really convenient switch or you can use a MIDI controller. That's a video later on that I'll be doing one about. The other option is HTP. I'll be very honest with you. If, to keep things simple, I don't really recommend HTP often because unless there's a very specific reason why you need it, you won't mess with it at all. And that's highest takes priority, which basically means that the highest value in the show is going to be the highest one or the lowest you can grab. So for example, in this uh, scene here that's called White Solo, you'll see that it's going to go from the third gobo to the second and back to the third. Just for uh, craps and giggles, I'm gonna go ahead and grab and bring that down all the way here. So now we're gonna go from three, two, or excuse me, three, two, and then all the way down below. And we're gonna start this show real quick. Now I'm gonna shut off the LTP for a second so you can see what happens. So you see that it's just quickly jumping from one to the other. Okay, so when I click on HTP, I can't bring it any lower than that particular step. So there's two. I can bring that down to one in just a second. And there it is right there. But as soon as it goes back to, there we go, back to three, whatever the highest value is, it's going to grab it. So if I keep, if I want to grab it any higher, it's not going to change it because I've chosen a higher value. Uh, an option where that might be nice is if there's a specific, you know, level, like for example, let's say your prism, you want to make sure you don't accidentally bring it down to strobe or you want to do strobe, but you don't want to bring it all the way down. That's one way you could really play around with it. But unless there's a very specific reason to get into HTP, you're not going to need it. Now, for example, if I'm going to go into my red solo scene, all right, I can bring that pretty much down to Gobo 3 because Gobo 3 is the highest uh, selection in this particular scene. I can bring it higher than Gobo 3 if I need to. On blackout, I could bring this all the way down because the highest value for this particular fader is zero. Hope that makes a little bit more sense. So again, that's our highest takes priority, latest takes priority, and auto in my DMX 2.0. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. Please subscribe, like the videos, share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Good night and God bless.